Hey guys, how's it going? Test back again with episode number 3 of the Borussia Dortmund career mode. And it is the opening day of the Bundesliga season. It's the 24th of August 2012. We've got Werder Bremen at home at uh, Signal Iduna Park. Or uh, the Wieden, not Wiedenfeller, uh, Westfalen Stadion as uh, it was formerly known. Starting a full lineup, full strong first eleven with uh, new players Niang and Rodrigo and Shaw on the bench. As well as Lettner and uh, Bittencourt, which are two of our best young prodigies. Werder Bremen actually starting a really, really strong side with Kevin De Bruyne in there as well as Aaron Hunt and Lee Dong-Gook. Right, now, unlike the uh, the previous recent few uh, live comms that we've done towards the end of the Sunderland career mode, I'm not actually going to upload the entire match in this one. It is only going to be cut and pasted highlights. Obviously, it will be extended highlights because I'll be talking about stuff rather than just cutting out chances and goals. But uh, it will only be... Uh, you know, extended highlights of the game, not the full game. So the video will be a little bit shorter than uh, than the previous few have been. The previous few, especially the uh, the Champions League final, was about half an hour long, wasn't it? That took, let me tell you, an absolute age to uh, to render and then upload onto uh, onto the channel because my laptop really is on its last. Well, not really on its last legs. It's just not really up to scratch for a video of that size. But uh, hopefully, this one will uh, not take quite as long to. Oh, I've just given the ball straight away. Um, I am still finding my feet with uh, this Borussia Dortmund side, finding out, um, you know, who plays it better in what scenario, who's what, uh, you know, individual players' strengths are, what their weaknesses are, how they play as a group. So uh, it is going to be an extremely tough test, and Werder Bremen are one of the better sides in the division as well. So it's by no means going to be an easy task. And I'm actually really uh, not looking forward to playing Werder Bremen because uh, I would have liked to uh, to have eased into the league season. My passing really is a ray at the minute. I really would have liked to have eased into the season with uh, perhaps one of the smaller tides like uh, Groith of Firth or someone like that, rather than having to come up against Gebrus, come up against Werder Bremen as uh, Gebrus Lasse puts in a poor cross there. Uh, one thing I would like to say at the beginning of uh, this episode is uh, a thank you to Dan, Mr. Infernus HD, for the uh, for the thumbnail I, uh, I mentioned in the uh, description of the first video, uh, the uh, the thumbnail. And uh, also, I uh, was going to mention it in the commentary in the last video, but I actually forgot because my memory is awful, as uh, I'm sure many of you are fully aware by now. But uh, go away, Lee. Lee, get out. But uh, yeah, Dan is uh, obviously my... I have previously done all of my own thumbnails, and uh, they're not the best of quality. In... They are not of the best quality, but uh, Dan is an extremely good GFX guy. And I will leave links in the description to uh, his channel and to his Twitter if uh, you want to check him out. And if you need any GFX of your own, then I'm sure if you drop him a line, he'd be more than happy to help you out. So, uh, yeah, do uh, Mr. Infernus HD is uh, his channel name. And like I say, links will be in the description to that really sound guy as well. And uh, he actually shares the same birthday as me. So uh, he's absolutely spot on. But uh, not the best of starts here. Not really uh, controlling possession very well. Not uh, Not had any chances so far. Brem Ferdinand Bremen have been uh, on the attack more so than uh, they have been on the uh, on the defence. So that's a cutting through ball there. It's kind of Dortmund in real life uh, kind of play a very counter-attacking style of football. Now uh, that really isn't the way I play football on FIFA. So uh, I'm sure as many of you will be aware, I uh, oh, as Lewandowski could be in here. Near post shot. Oh, keeper touches it onto the post. As uh, I'm sure many of you will be aware, I do play, or I do like to play a possession-based... Hummels is going to get up, it's gone over the bar. I do like to play a possession-based football uh, style of play, kind of Barcelona style, or say uh, the Netherlands national team. Kind of tick attack, a small, quick, fast passes, just to kind of keep possession around, try and open up the defence rather than just throwing myself at them. And uh, Dortmund really aren't set up to play that kind of way, so it's going to be a, a tough test to, uh, to start off with, trying to find... The right starting eleven to uh, to kind of help that style. It may be a case of me actually having to uh, adjust my own playing style to match the uh, the players that I have. They're going to score here. What a header! It's going to be a case of me uh, adjusting my own playing style to uh, to be to to get the best out of the players that I have currently. And then maybe over the the course of the season, maybe two seasons, by bringing in my own players, kind of adjusting the ethos of the side over time to uh, to play my own way. Because uh, obviously, as I take a sip of water, sorry if you heard that. Um, obviously, at Sunderland, the first season we struggled. The second season, when I brought in my own players, was able to play my own way on Legendary. Then, um, you know, we did have the success with the league, the league title, and the uh, the league cup. But uh, Gertz is going to make me a run there. I'm going to try and find him. Oh, Gertz, Mario, take a touch. 
just need to kind of settle myself down really, try and find a rhythm, get a decent spell of possession going so that I actually have something to build on. But uh, I'm not as good as Lewandowski, oh Blazzy, that is an awful touch, as good as Lewandowski is, I've not been overly impressed with him so far in pre-season etc. Oh Mario, make the turn and then a Ronaldo chop inside, That's, it's done well, can we pick up a free kick there, it's going to keep going, and the shot deflected straight at the goalkeeper, piss flaps. Obviously we are missing our one of our starting, oh they're going to get a corner here, we're missing one of our uh, starting 11 players, Sven Bender actually picked up an injury in one of the pre-season friendlies, I think it was the second one, and he's actually going to be out for, um, save that, he's going to be out for two months, so Anuri Sahin is actually uh, slotting in alongside Gundogan in the two holding midfielders roles. I'm actually playing 4-2-3-1, which is the uh, the preferred formation for me this year on FIFA, although I may switch to a 4-4-1-1 uh, later on if uh, things don't particularly work out. But Sahin, obviously, as you can see there, just lacks a bit of pace, and uh, unfortunately it has been a bit costly so far. Lewandowski, can you get the turn? And the shot in. It's a good effort. With the header, another decent save. Decent follow-up save from the goalkeeper there. Right, uh, yeah, Royce can take it and he's going to pop it in. We'll see if Lewandowski or Hummels can get on the end of it. Hummels is up, but unfortunately can't quite get the angle on the header and he's actually just gone wide off the far post. That's disappointing. That was a decent effort there. We really should have been able to uh, at least make the goalkeeper work because uh, he does seem like a decent keeps actually, the way he uh, kept those early, uh, early chances out. But Blazikowski does have a bit of pace. Try and find Gertz at Lewandowski comfy. Ah, see that's annoying. One of the uh, ref. Thank you, Marco Royce is going to take this. One of the uh, the things that annoys me so far this season on uh, on FIFA 12 is you in certain situations you try and play an A pass to play to feet. Dip, please. Oh, it's not. Uh, you try and play an A pass to feet, and it actually plays a through ball as if you press Y or triangle if you're on PS3, and it's increasingly frustrating. Where um, you know a a ball to feet would be the perfect ball in the scenario that you're actually, uh, you know, you find yourself in, and that it actually decides that it's going to play a through ball. Uh, it's dis it's really frustrating. Hopefully they can sort that out for FIFA 14. Show some strength, Lewandowski. Get on the weights. That's a better position for a free kick, actually. I'm not going to take that one quickly. I'm actually going to let Marco Royce have a second one here. See, hopefully he's found his range. Put a little bit less power on it. Mm, see, his free kicks really feel a little bit weird. I put the same angle on the ball as that as I did the first one. And that one kept low rather than uh, going high and over like the the first one did. Really having to uh, to learn a lot about these players actually. So you can see there, I played wanted to play a ball to feet, and it's tried to play a through ball. It's just really frustrating. A ball into feet for Sahin there Look, could have uh, opened the chance up for him to have a touch and then uh, get at the defence. But uh, nonetheless, you're just going to have to play with what we've got on the pitch. You better win that pitch check. Thank you. Uh, Sahin, use that uh, acceleration please, I know you don't have much. See Lewandowski just feels a little bit clunky to me to be honest. As we go in at half time 1-0 down, actually this might be a little bit longer than I was intending on so I, keep, I apparently seem to have rabbited on for the first half but uh, if you've seen all of it then uh, thank you very much for putting up with me. Obviously the uh, the live comms on the previous series got fantastic reception so if you could show this, uh, see we've had chances in possession really should be doing better in this one. If you could show this uh, video the amount of support that the first two videos in this series got have gotten and that the uh, the live comms in the previous series have gotten then that would be absolutely fantastic so please do feel free to drop the video a like if you could be so kind. Let me know with a comment what you think of the live comms as well. If you'd like to see me in this series do more of them as in uh, the bigger games that we did last year with uh, the game against Newcastle, the rivalry games, so we might do them a live comm for Bayern Munich and big games in Champions League and League Cup or FA Cup I mean, so I take another sip of water, you'll have to excuse me for that. But I do still suffer with a little bit of cotton mouth. And it is actually really, really gorgeous outside today. The weather is really hot and dry. So uh, it actually makes a nice change from uh, the actual cold weather we've had recently. Win that. It was... A He's given a handball there towards... For us, I think, yeah. Um, actually, on my birthday, it rained, even though the day before w was uh, really, really beautiful. And then the weather's been awful, actually, the past couple of days. But fortunately, it's nice and sunny today. So if you are enjoying the sunshine outside, I'm recording this on uh, on Friday. This You probably won't see this till Sunday or Monday because of uh, the uh, the pack opening and another pack only road to glory that will be going up in uh, a couple of days' time. But uh, if you are outside enjoying the sunshine, then uh, that is absolutely fantastic. Well, you won't be outside enjoying the sunshine watching this, will you? You'll be on your, on your laptop or on your phone. But uh, I hope you have been enjoying the sunshine, is what I'm trying to say over the past couple of days. 
Now, I do love the summer in this country. It's been getting hotter and hotter recently, which has been really, really nice because I, I haven't had the uh, the money to be able to afford to go abroad recently. So it's nice to actually have a bit of the heat and a bit of the uh, a bit of the sun in this country to uh, to soak up. Try and get a bit of a tan, although I am ginger, so I have to avoid the sun at uh, at its hottest during the day. Otherwise, I will uh, find myself looking like a lobster, and uh, my skin will be as red as my hair. Although I'm not actually, I'm not Cap Gun Tom style ginger. I'm not, you know, bright orange. I'm more auburn, but it is, uh, it is ginger. So uh, I'm not gonna, not gonna get away. I've been through my strawberry blonde phase uh, when I was a kid. I was like, no, I'm not ginger. I'm strawberry blonde. Don't take the piss out of me. But uh, if you think about it, strawberry's red and uh, blonde is, or is, uh, blonde is yellow and red and yellow make just outright orange. Gertz is gonna have an, an effort. He's been pulled out by the defenders there. I was really hoping for a free kick. I just can't. I'm going to have to make a change, I think. I think I'm going to bring Rodrigo on up top. Lewandowski just isn't doing it for me so far. That's going to go straight out, so we will pause it. Let's make a change. Let's bring Rodrigo on up top. And uh, if things don't improve further, then I may think about bringing on uh, Niang or maybe uh, Bittencourt to sit in behind uh, in behind Rodrigo, because Gertz has not had much of an impact in this one either. Maybe need that just a little bit extra pace. Rodrigo does have a little bit more pace than Lewandowski, so uh, hopefully he can inject a little bit more into this game. I'm going to try and find Blasi here, and uh, the right back's a lot uh, a long way out of position, so maybe we can get at him. Someone come towards me. Let me switch to a possession-based game. Maybe that'll help. The first touch is decent there from Gundogan. Royce, make me run. You're just going to stand there and look at me, aren't you? And then Mario. Find Rodrigo. Oh, I can't quite get his feet right. Gertz, so there's no acceleration there. I need a little bit more pace, I think, in this side. It's going to be something we're going to have to look into in uh, the transfer market in January because uh, I just don't have the money at the minute. Maybe going to have to uh, to sell on one of the big names, whether it is Lewandowski or Gertz, uh, to, uh, to try and bring in some money. I don't want to use the uh, financial benefactor option this year or in this series if I can avoid it because obviously we're at a bigger side. And uh, Sunderland, we needed that to compete, but here we uh, we. Oh, I'd, I'd like to think we don't. Although I'm struggling at the minute. Go on, Blasi. I do like. I have used the uh, Dortmund player, Dortmund, Dortmund players a lot in uh, Ultimate Team this year. I thought I've used them with a mixture of other Bundesliga players. So if I could maybe look to bring in some of those players, if possible. Although a couple of them were from uh, Bayern Munich, so they'd be quite hard to uh, get hold of, or they might be uh, less willing to join, etc and uh, might be a little bit more expensive to buy considering they're coming from a rival but maybe someone like Andre Schürrle I did really enjoy playing with his inform I'm going to have to be careful here uh, it's a tame effort from uh, Don Gook uh, we're going to actually yeah may, if I look into Andre Schürrle it, it may cost a little bit extra to uh, to buy but he is worth the cash because uh, I did really enjoy playing with his inform obviously he uh, oh no don't you dare yes Nevan See, Subotic, although I said at uh, the beginning of the series I don't actually like him and might want to uh, might want to move him on, he's actually been rock solid for me so far. And uh, I have picked him up on the Paconi Road to Glory as well, and he's been decent for me. I'm going to try and cut inside here with Rodrigo. Uh, ref, that's a bit physical, isn't it? Oh, Rodrigo, go on, find Goetze, find Goetze. No, oh, that is Goetze, I meant the guy on the edge of the box. Ref, right, we'll have a free kick here. This time I'm going to make the keeper work and or score a goal, I'm going to promise. Royce, just get that over the wall, into the back of the net, off the bar! That is so annoying! Oh, Subotic. That's frustrating. We're getting closer, though. We're getting closer. The goal is coming. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Go on, Gertz. Get a bit of space. Oh, he's just not strong enough. Mario Gertz needs to get on the weights, boys. I'm telling you. It's Gertz again. Rodrigo, come feet. Can you get a turn in? He can. And near post. Oh, that is horrible. Wow. That was a horrific shot. See, that's where that's where Lewandowski would have come in handy. Rodrigo's got the better turn and the better touch, but Robert Lewandowski has the better finish. Oh, so we've hit the bar and uh, had a decent chance in the space of a couple of minutes. It's encouraging, even if not for today, but for the uh, for the rest of the season. Because uh, I did actually struggle to get into the Lazio game in the uh, in the last friendly. It took me a while to find my rhythm in that before. Uh, Rodrigo's done well there. And there's a really poor pass. Really frustrating. Really frustrating. Smeltzer's just been turned inside out there. Oh, well, my entire defence has been turned inside out there. How has he got that turning? No, you're not getting a shot, Aaron. 
Ref, don't be silly. Let's give it a penalty. Aaron Hunt get on the weights. So that is never a penalty. Never in a million years is that a penalty. He's just out muscled him and he's fallen over. Which way is he going to go? See if I can read the run up. He's going to go top right. He saved it. Wienerfeller, right, race. Go, 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 go. Royce, make me run. Royce, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, Rodrigo, make me run. Don't just stand there. Royce has made a great run on the inside channel. Great run on the inside channel. Get there. Marco Royce. Marco Royce again. No, give me the ball. Gets that. Back to Gundogan. It's going to find Rodrigo. I'm going to cut inside again. I'm finding myself going backwards though. Royce. No, bad touch. Oh, I didn't have the space to take the shot there. It's wasteful. Don't blow your whistle, ref. I want one more. I want one more attack. Come on, let's try and get uh, a stereotypical last minute goal. Rodrigo, can he get the turn? He can again. Can he get the shot in this time? That's another poor finish. And the referee's probably going to blow it, and he has done. So uh, it is defeat on the opening day for us at Borussia Dortmund. A really disappointing performance overall. The uh, the chances were there, we just weren't clinical enough. Lewandowski, with a couple of decent chances, that was a good save from their goalkeeper. And then Rodrigo had a couple of great chances, only getting a 5.8 rating overall. I was really frustrated there. A couple of really, really good chances. It was just wasteful. With we had a lot of chances, as you can see from the stats, and a lot of the ball. So we're definitely something to uh, to look into going forward. We're just going to maybe have to uh, to show a little bit more composure in front of goal. Try and hold my nerve a little bit better and uh, pick my opportunities rather than just trying to smash it like I did in that one. But nonetheless, that is going to draw this video to a close, guys. I do apologise that I wasn't able to uh, to bring us a win on the opening day, but we will come back stronger. And now, uh, who is the next game against? It is a game against. Is that? Cologne against FC Cologne so uh, then we've got Chelsea in the Champions League three days later loving life right so thank you very much for watching guys uh, please do feel free to leave the video a like if you uh, could be so kind that'd be amazing links on screen in the end slate that will be on screen now to uh, the previous episode in this series and of course link in the little window to a random video from earlier on in the week on this channel so uh, yeah thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time